Welcome back to Saxthorpe. We're into October 2 and I just wanted to, before we detach the drill, show you how little we got left. We got 58 litres or 1% of fur and 274 litres or 8% of seed. Um, so yeah, we just had enough to complete the field. Now, what we need to drag out is the rollers so get them attached and I have not installed the ones I wanted which is a bit annoying and now it's raining <laughs> so the plan for today is we need to wait for it to stop raining we need to roll the field um, of barley we put in last time before we skip into the next month. Now I have set the, there we go, our Scania has arrived back at the farm. We've left the animal trailer up at the dealer for now, um, simply because hopefully today, <laughs> Barring any major changes of plan, we're going to be selling um, our goods and making some serious cash. So, what I'm tempted to do is skip through till it's uh, stopped raining. We will set course play doing the rolling. Maybe not on the quad track. Seems a little bit overkill. Um, and then we'll check on the sheep, get them all topped up and start the process of advancing the time gradually and checking on the price of things now i am recording this a couple of days after the last episode went live and um, we've had one comment so far about getting some cows so that's one in favor of but i'll hold it on i'm waiting for your comments and see if there's any more thoughts on it at all and um, because if there is then we're going to need to keep hold of a bit of the silage um We've got loads, so it's not a problem at all. Right, I will see you when it stops raining, and we are advancing through time. Now, the last of the sheep being fed, we've got the Fent doing the rolling, we've got the John Deere doing mulching, and we've got the Voucher um, off liming. So we're trying to put the sheep on top of the water tank a little <laughs> Um, always makes me chuckle that does um, so yeah everything's getting done which is good um, and we are now in a place where we can probably move to tomorrow I don't see any issue with that I'm just trying to think if there's anything that's going to potentially mess up uh, I don't think there is. So, I will shut the gate on the sheeps and I'll see you in the morning. So, we are at a point where we need to wait for the fent to finish what it's doing um, with the rolling before we can then skip into November because we don't want the crop to germinate. Um, so, I was having a quick look through the amazing time-saving stock check and strawberry jam oh, is at a good price. So, we've got 31,000 litres. I was going to say, we'll just say loaded. We've got 31,000 litres loaded on a trailer. Um, and I've set the remaining 500 and something litres to sell. So, that'll sell on the hour. And we are headed to the... Um, Desserts sell point. I've even tagged it because, um, yeah, I can never remember where I actually put it. So I think it's down that road there we've just driven past. Yes, it is. Brakes on this thing are phenomenal. There we go. Come on. Goodness me. There must be some, uh, some weight in jam because the tractor's struggling a little bit. Now, one thing I 
and I'd completely forgotten it shows how long it's been um, since we played or I played I'd forgotten we actually leased the fence we didn't buy it um, so that was a bit of a shock when the 11 grand went out the bank for uh, leasing costs um, so yeah so we've now got not only a 1.2 million pound loan that we're having to, that we're going to pay out um, but also the uh, the cost of renting the fence so yeah not my brightest move but still um it's a wicked tractor stop stop oh i'm literally standing on the brake right then there is no point stop there thank you engine off straps off and we will get unloading so we are at 128k at the minute so um i'll see you when this lot is very carefully unloaded into the cell point last one's going in we already had one a few payments so 128 51 grand not to be sniffed at Super duper. How long has the fence got left? Five minutes. Lovely jubbly. Right. I'll head back up to the farm and most likely we'll see you in November. So, 2nd of November and price for silage is really, really good. So, um, £309. I stumbled then. Um, per thousand litres so 378 grand for what we've got at the minute which is over the max value so that's great now nothing else really canola's getting up there that's that's okay that's good um but i need to feed the sheeps so where are we ah got my bearings the john deere is still plodding away bless it i have leased a bulk trailer so this is one that I used on, not Corp, the other map by Oxen David, Armston. <laughs> um, yes, when we were doing the sort of selling everything at the end, um, that came in very, or they came in very, very handy. So yeah, no, it works. And uh, I think we've gone for the, can't remember what capacity we've gone for now. We went for the bigger one out of the two. 79,000 litres, so, yeah, should do us a couple of trips of stuff like canola, etc. So, what do we need for sheeps? Pretty much everything, okay. <laughs> uh, protein silage for the ones without the black sheeps in. Right, that's how I differentiate it now. <laughs> The ones without the black sheeps. Good, there we go. Interesting how they eat differently. I must have not got the mix. Well, the level's quite right, but nay mind. So we can turn off auto drive. And we want to be feet. I've just looked at this. There we go. Right, these ones. There we go. Wool is looking good. That can go to the spinnery right let's get this done and then i think we'll sell most of the silage that is in the canola field um we'll keep hold of most of what is in the grass field there the pink wrapped ones i think for now just whilst we uh contemplate the cows so i will crack on get the sheeps fed and uh yeah i'll uh, be back with you very shortly so i was uh, just observing whether or not bales would sell on their own there we go 50 let's get around here and help these ones in there we go 
Um, and it kind of sold some and then sort of reloaded itself. So not quite sure <laughs> what went on there. But that can go to the refuel point. Once we've reset it, there we go. Cool. And we can get back to... <laughs> I do like part vehicle, but when you forget, it's a bit of a pain in the bum. <laughs> so I've done. Get in here. Where are we? Where are we? We've done the hay. Yes, I super strengthened it. Um. So what else do we need to give them? Uh, we could do with protein silage. We'll load up in a minute. We could do with. Let's sort these first. So we'll do a bucket of grain grist, a bucket of spuds, and then top off with protein silage. So money is going to go up. Now, I am... <laughs> don't know what to do. To get the aim was to get the field, wasn't it? But can't somebody bought a 1.2 million pound tractor? <laughs> I don't know who that was. Um, or if we've got the land, then we can put a crop in to pay for it. So. Uh, now, is this right? Am I feeding the right sheep? Yes, you are. So what I'm thinking is we... Have a look how much money we make off the silage. Then see if we can afford to maybe purchase the land and then if we can afford to do the land when we sell some crops hopefully that will give us the cash to buy the tent that is the plan i think so let's just remind ourselves and mainly myself how much Field 18 is 290 grand. So that is quite doable. I dread to think how much is left on the fence to pay off, though. We might just take the hit on that and just keep paying it. Um, and maybe take down some of the loan. I don't know. We'll see. So, these ones on our right are nearly sorted. We're going to need a trailer load of um, old crop silage. So we'll need to do that as well. Water, they're okay for. We've got plenty about. So, I will see you when we are nearly finished uh, sorting the sheep out. First lot of sheep's all filled up with food <laughs> just to clarify uh right last ones here the case no not the case the class has reached the bale cell point so we can head down there in a minute and get that unloaded we should have enough in the trailer should leave about two thousand lead oh there we go three and a half even better right this can go back under cover now we've only we've not got a full load of the blue wrapped silage. So what I think I'm gonna do to maximize our money is um top it up with a load of the ink bells we've got uh, that we'll be keeping for if and when we get cows. So Motor must be started, of course it must. Uh, 
eighty ninety four thousand pounds. Lovely. Super duper. So let's check a couple of things. We know the field is two hundred and ninety grand. Three hundred and nineteen. Ooh. That's not quite as much as I thought it was going to be, if I'm honest. I thought we were gonna be three fifty or three seventy. So that's good. Right, you can go back to the cow farm and the refuel off you pop reset the ale pick up thingy majigger bubba right let's now get back here that's going nicely that looks a lot better and we can is there anything Oh, there is. No, there's weeds, in fact. Nothing in there. That's actually pretty good, I think. It's not like we're getting a free crop. Do we wait? Do we hang on? To see if Farmer puts anything in. But then again, no in my look, it either be potatoes or sugar beet or beetroot, carrot or parsnip. So we'll buy it. We're going to buy it now because at least then we um, get in. Super. Your potential 101%. Let's, so can we afford buy this, hopefully. Oh, only £45,000 left. <laughs> I'm definitely doing a full load of um, silage. So, I will get that done and then probably see you in December the 1st. So, we didn't quite get to December before. Let me just show you. Uh, the canola is uh, 1343 um, so a decent price actually so I thought well we'll take the opportunity so we've got a full load and we'll go back for another load in a moment once we've tipped this lot um, but yeah good start good start indeed so we are running on auto drive just because I'm being a little bit lazy so Jobs are good and hopefully this will bring in a decent amount of cash. The mulching is finished. Um, so that's now back at the yard. We've got the tractor and the trailer back from the silage delivery. So yeah, all is good. And I'd be interested to see exactly how much we make off of this lot. Now, I don't, I can't remember if I said it before, but I wasn't overly keen on the sound of this truck um oh it sounds good don't get me wrong but and then i saw on facebook i think it was not long after having used it um one in real life um and it sounds it's, it's a very good match um so yeah quite impressive to be fair absolute beast of a truck so we'll see how much we make from seventy nine thousand liters at that lot rocketing up hopefully there's no oh we're all right for collisions as well 106 120 grand not bad at all so if we bring up auto drive we can now turn that off and go cow farm and where is our so what we got a silo there we go sheep farm silo off you go so i will uh get the other twenty thousand liters loaded up and uh yeah i'll see you when we're flogging that they're just rolling very steadily into position 
22,000 litres left. So, won't be a huge amount, but still, it's a nice top up. 34 grand. Lovely. So, looking at the time saving stock check. So, the next one's to be coming up. In fact, let's get here out of the way of the noise. So the next one, so we've got July for the beans, which is fine. So we're looking at Jan for our wheat, barley, and our oats. Might keep the wheat. Might keep the wheat. But definitely the barley and the oats will be sold. I don't think there's anything else. We're keeping the rest of the silage. So, yeah, I am going to get the truck we will get back and start advancing the time i'm just feeding the sheep some hay just to keep them tied over and uh yeah so i'll see you in december um not sure which day it might even be jan when the price is good um but yeah i do keep checking it every day and let's keep our fingers crossed for a decent price so we're now on to well, we've got oats just being sold. You can see the money is rocketing up. There is not... There's only 4,600 litres left, so that's fine. We'll leave that. That was another 104 grand in. I wonder why we didn't get a bonus on that. It's interesting. Um, but we are on to the barley selling so we've employed the services of the Valtra and the Richard Weston trailer there we go so that's going to start the pro selling of the selling process of that and that is all good and what we're going to get for that 25 28 nice so we will jump to the truck and get this back to the yards. So let's, we could do, where is it? Pick up and deliver. So we want to pick up from the cow farm and it's the silo load and it's going to the green tower grain and it is barley. Come on, such a long way to scroll. There we go. That'll clear off now. That should automate the process somewhat. So, what I might do is just let that run. And uh, we'll come back at the end, when it's all sold, and see how much we've made. So, this will be the last load. We've just had 28,000 litres um, to, not 28,000 litres, 28,000 pounds in um, from the Richard Weston uh, load that we got. This has emptied the silo of the barley. So, what did we get? 50, 60, 61k, we'll call that. So, not too shabby at all, really. I've zoomed out just because the productions are very loud. Um, so, I think, let's just have a tab to somewhere quiet. Now, the trailer can be returned, as can the truck for now, and keep the trailer, I think. No, we won't. We'll return it for now. We're not going to need it for a while. Uh, those two are okay. Now, we've got 484 grand. We're going into the winter months. That would leave us with a hundred and... That, we could do that. We could pay off the Fent, I think. Yes. So that leaves us 168 grand, which is not shabby. So I'm pleased with that. Um, I can't believe. I thought we could have sworn we bought it. But never mind. Um, so, yeah, we're in a kind of a good position. All we've got to do now 
he says, is pay off the remaining 1.1 or nearly 1.2 million pounds. <laughs> Which, when you say it like that, is it's going to be easy, isn't it? We've, we've got another 118 months to clear it. Um, and I think that's where we're going to leave it today. I know it's been a bit of a bitty episode. These silly ones always are. Um, there's no real succinct way to do it, I guess you'd say. Um, next time, we'll probably be i don't know um maybe jan um we need to feed the sheep move some wool across i have now installed the um high production inputs so we can get some cotton going and really boost the um fabric and ultimately clothing production as well because that'll bring in a ton of cash in the summer months i think it is We've got the soybeans to sell, so yeah, not all bad um, we have got income about. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.